Let me find the story. Yeah. So I, I think I mentioned yesterday, the day before yesterday, whenever I did the show, something about Aunt, Aunt Jemima, uh, the, the, the changing the name of, of, uh, of Aunt Jemima. It is, a, it is a brand that's owned, I think, by Quaker Oats. And uh, they're discontinuing, they're changing, they're changing the name. And, they, and the idea is that Aunt Jemima is really a, uh, a racist kind of reference. It's a reference to a stereotype uh, during a racist era in American history of, of a black woman, right? And immediately on Twitter came out these stories about, wait a minute, no, 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 no. This isn't, yeah, some of you on the chat have read this and believed it. This isn't, um, this isn't racist. I mean, Aunt Jemima was a successful entrepreneur, they say. It's a woman named Nancy Green, and Nancy Green, I, I'm reading from one of these tweets, uh, or one of these posts, I guess this is Facebook. Nancy Green was a freed slave. She took her talent and created cooking brand. Aunt Jemima Milling Company bought her likeness almost 100 years ago. It's currently owned by Quaker. She passed away in 1923 as one of America's first black millionaires. Um, her career allowed Green the financial freedom to become an activist, engaged in anti-poverty programs. She was one of the first African-American missionary workers. She used her stature as a spokesman to become a leading advocate against poverty and in favor of equal rights. And a number of people wrote this up, and there is, uh, there is I guess there's uh, something in Wikipedia, uh, half about this, um, Although the Wikipedia story says that she was born a slavery, she was a good cook, and that she was freed, and then uh, she rolled her talents into cooking brand that bought. She was a storyteller, cook, activist, and the first several African-American models hired to promote a corporate trademark as Aunt Jemima. She died in 1923 as one of America's first black millionaires, and, and this gets retweeted, and it's everywhere, and I guess it's on Wikipedia, and you know Wikipedia must be true. So somebody actually went... Somebody actually went and researched this. God forbid you actually do the research, right? And it turns out that she wasn't a millionaire. That yes, she indeed was a former slave. She was a freed slave by the name of Nancy Green. And she was the first model hired to portray the character. Um, but she didn't create a cooking brand as far as anybody can tell. There's no evidence of that. She did some activism, and she, she lived, probably lived well. She made enough money off of what she did to live well. But there's no evidence she was particularly wealthy or that she owned this brand that was later bought by somebody else. She was not a partner in this brand. Indeed, the Aunt Jemima brand was started by Chris Rutt and Charles Underwood. And they named their new pancake flower after a minstrel song. I mean, still show song, titled Old Aunt Jemima. Green, the model, was hired after Rutt and Underwood sold the company to R.T. Davis. And she was hired in order to portray, to become the image that already existed in popular culture, that of a mammy, a racist stereotype of an amiable, older, overweight African-American woman who served in a domestic role to whites. You can see that portrayal in Gone with the Wind. You can see the mammy there. The logos changed six times in order to move away from the mammy stereotype, meaning the logo currently on Aunt Jemima product does not, as some have suggested, still depict Nancy Green. It doesn't at all. Right. So if you actually study the history, if you look at the history as the people who I got this information did, then you find that a lot of the stuff that you read on tweets and on even Wikipedia is BS. And you got to be careful what you buy into and what you don't buy into. And what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. Now, Quake Oats owns the band. They can do whatever they want with it. But... I actually think not having an Aunt Jemima, kind of that image, makes sense, and it certainly may probably make sense for their, um, for their uh, marketing trend. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any 
man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourownbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show. And, um, and and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to keep this uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next.